Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to be talking about the difference between the cost of living in New York, the top three cities over there population-wise, versus Kansas City, Missouri, and then diving into a look at the difference in house prices and kind of the square footage and what some of the houses in the, in the median price range. So, for example, um, in Buffalo, New York, it would be 183000 where Kansas City, Missouri is 195 So we're going to be comparing what you get for that um, in this video and then... Um, that's basically going to be it. I'm Caleb Lewis, your local realtor. Um, if there's anything that I can help you do or if you're looking to move in 9 to 90 days or if there's anything else that I can help you with, my number is on the screen. You can just shoot me a text. Let's jump right in. Okay, so number one, we're going to be talking about New York, New York versus Kansas City, Missouri. Um, so we're just going to look at the cost of living indexes. 100 um, is the U.S. average. Below that means it's cheaper. Um, then the U.S. average and above 100 means it's more expensive than the U.S. average. Um, so overall, they're 168.6 versus 87.9. So we are 47.9% cheaper um, than them overall. Food and groceries are looking at 17% less. Housing is 78.5% less. So that means their median home cost is 654000 whereas Ours is only 195,000. Um, utilities 32 percent less. Transportation 51 percent less, and healthcare is 19.8 percent less. Um, so let's jump into what the house different lo looks like. We're going to be checking between 650 and 850. That way you can get a good range and see, you know, in the different areas, like overall kind of what the difference in in house prices and what you can get for your money looks like. Okay, so looking at Kansas City, Missouri first, um, here's 675 for 2,700 square feet, um, 750,000 for 3,000 square foot. Um, as you can see, quite a few of these are on decent sized lot, like this one's on a quarter acre, that one's on three eighths of an acre essentially. Um, and then depending on where it is, they either have more acreage or not. This one's surrounded by a lot of trees. Um, but you're generally going to get between like 2,000 to 5,000 square foot. Some even more than that, depending on the location. Like this one's on 72nd Terrace. Uh, what, jumping over to New York, uh, this one's in Staten Island. Um, this is 829 for 1,200 square foot. Um, this one's 825 for 944 square foot. Uh, 700 for 912 square foot. So you're not getting a whole lot of of um, square footage for the same price amount where you're getting almost three to four times more space on the inside for the same price here. Um, let's jump into our number two place, which is going to be Buffalo, New York. Okay, so next up we have Buffalo, New York. Overall index, 88.5 versus 87.9. So they are less than us by almost a percent. Food and groceries, 2%. Housing, we cost 71.5% more, um, although our median home costs are almost exactly the same. So I'm not sure if they're looking at the apartment rentals or what exactly that breaks down to. Our median home cost is about 6.7% more. Utilities, 5.3% less. Transportation, 13.4% less. Healthcare, 2.8% more. So we're almost exactly, as you can see here, Kansas City, Missouri is only 0.7% cheaper than Buffalo. So it seems like our markets are, our cost of living are very similar, um, like across the board. Let's jump into what the housing looks like here. So here I just did 150 to 250 to kind of do a surround picture of the median price point for both of them. So here you're looking at 1,700 square foot, 2,000 square foot in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, looks like we're right around that 1,300 to 2,000 square foot range. And then Buffalo, we're at 1,200 square foot as well, 1,600, 1,200. So it looks like you're getting a little bit less depending on exactly where you're at. Some places like this one seems like quite a lot more. Um, and then some of them are up in 2,000. So I would say that these markets and the uh, cost of living between Kansas City, Missouri and Buffalo, New York is very similar. Uh, let's jump into our number three. Okay, and then our number three is Rochester, New York versus Kansas City, Missouri. Um, we're 5.6% more um, expensive than them in the overall index. 1% less food and groceries. Um, housing costs 94.8% more. Um, our house median home cost is 49.3% more at 64000 Utilities, 1.7% less. Transportation, 2.1% less. Health is 4.7% less. So we're looking at the same type of houses here. We've got generally between like 12,000 or I mean 1,200 and 2,500 square foot here. Um, you can see in Kansas City, Missouri doing that 
150 to 250 range again. And then a Rochester, you're getting about, oh, about the same, like 1,400 square foot right here, uh, 1,200 right here. Some of them you are getting more square foot up in the 2,000 range, but they seem pretty comparable on median home cost. And that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know it was kind of different comparing us to New York, but I just wanted to show you the cost of living differences in case you're thinking of moving here. Um, like I said, I'm Caleb Lewis, a local real estate agent. If there's anything that I could ever do to help you, just shoot me a text um, or just drop a comment you know, with your questions, and I'll be happy to make a video about that. Um, that wraps up this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.